preparing your rhubarb for rhubarb jam. This is um, a stem from a bunch of rhubarb that you'll get. What you need to do is cut off all this brown stuff that is on the stem and any bruises or cuts, any brown cuts or bruises on the stem, just make sure you cut all of those. So that's what I'm doing just there, just trimming any of that off. That's all the brown stuff. Okay, just cut that a little bit off. And now just try and cut it into two centimetre pieces. To make rhubarb jam, we put in the cut prepared pieces of rhubarb. Add in 250 grams caster sugar. Add in freshly squeezed juice of one orange and one lemon. Add finely grated zest of one orange and one lemon. Add one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or you could scrape the seeds out of a one vanilla bean pod, whatever you have handy. Okay, so it's been about maybe 13 minutes um, and I've come back and as you can see it's starting to boil and the rhubarb's all broken up, the sugar's dissolved and it's going along nicely. Um, in that 13 minutes I did come back here and there and just stirred it a little bit um, and just to check up on it so don't completely leave it for 13 minutes or 10 minutes and not stir it at all. This is what we're after. We're after it, the rhubarb breaking up and we're now going to stay here and watch over it. This is probably going to take another 10-15 minutes. Um, so we're just using our um, spatula here and just slowly flattening and squashing if you like the rhubarb while it's cooking. So we break that down those pieces of rhubarb and it form, and that's what will form the, that jam. So we've been mixing for about 10 minutes uh, on a more a high than medium heat. And you can probably tell the difference from 10 minutes ago where the jam's thickened up considerably. We're still stirring so that it doesn't catch the bottom and burn. But it, you can see as I put the spatula through the mixture from the sides coming through that it's thickened, it's not as runny as it was before. And this is where you can start testing it to see if it sits. It's still um, running a bit but it has thickened and we don't need to let it go for too much longer. So maybe another minute or two stirring so that the bottom doesn't catch and burn. But as you're stirring it around you can see that it has thickened consider considerably. So this is the rhubarb jam um, put into a bowl. You now need to let that sit out to cool a little bit before you can put it in the fridge. And I always like to just put a bit of a cling, cling wrap just on the top, just so that it doesn't form a, a yucky skin on the jam. So that's ready to go in the fridge um, to let down cool down completely. You can use it as a spread on toast, um, or you can use it in your tarts, which is what I'm going to do. I'm 